All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at both 2.1 and 2.2 a little bit. So looking at the structure of the atoms and some of the factors that influence the atomic size. And we need you to draw a picture. And I've already got mine sketched out. So I'm trying to show perspective, but I'm not an artist. I'm a scientist. So please excuse my terrible, terrible drawing. But Ernest Rutherford was a scientist, and he did the gold foil experiment. So this is the gold foil experiment, which was actually a series of experiments just like J.J. Thompson, but we're going to be simplifying this down into one just explanation of what he came up with. So around the outside, this is a fluorescent paper or a fluorescent sensor, I guess is the best way to put it. So when particles interact with this, you would get a little blip on this sensor and it would just leave itself as a, as a dot. In the middle, there's a piece of gold. So this is the gold foil of the experiment. And what he did was he took something similar to a laser and he fired shoop, protons in at this piece of gold foil. Now, if you were doing this, you would expect this laser or these protons or these atoms really to bounce off and deflect back over towards where they came from. Some would go back this way. Some would kind of glance off at this angle. But most of them, what he found, which was really interesting, a lot of them went right on through the foil and landed, barely deflected, on the back side of this deflector. And now sometimes he would get them, you know, bouncing off to the side. Um, but what it showed is that there, this piece of gold foil was not solid in the sense that we think of as solid. And it, it showed two things really. And so the first thing it showed is that atoms are mostly empty space. Atoms are mostly empty space. And we have a video we're going to take a look at uh, by a friend of mine, Mr. Bergman. Um, but if this proton beam, this, this original beam, is able to go straight through, that means that there's nothing in the way. So that explained one half of it. The other half, how do we explain these beams that bounced off clean, other, clean the other way? And what he determined was that, well, these particles are positive, and that means that to bounce off or to repel the, the nucleus of the atom is positively charged. And these are the protons. Okay, remember, atoms are made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. The positive portion of it are the protons. So again, this is the gold foil experiment. The atom is a lot of empty space. So we've got a very, if we were to diagram our atom, we've got a very, very small nucleus. And then we've got our electrons buzzing around on the outside, way far away from this atom. And that led to the next scientist to draw his own conclusions and his name was Niels Bohr and we're going to take a look at that in 2.4.